April 23rd at Carson Perry Scott. Mike Jackson and Diane Burns tonight at 10.
Okay, you know, I've always loved to sing, but I have started to enjoy telling jokes every now and then. I ain't getting any better at telling them, but I really get into trying to. So here's one that I hope you like. Okay. A magazine was taking a poll, and they asked this one housewife if she talked to her husband while making love. And the wife said, no, I don't, but I guess I could. I have his number at the office. <laughs> you folks got a better joke than that or a better story if you've got a question to ask or any good news whatever we want to talk about now would be a good time we want to start over here hi there it's a knock knock joke knock knock, knock, knock joke okay knock knock who's there little old lady little old lady who keep it up maybe someday you can yodel <laughs> Hi, Dolly. Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> Hi. Um, this is a tongue twister. I hope I get it right. Mama Snake and her baby snakes were hissing in the pit, and Mama Snake told her baby snakes they were hissing too loud to go over to Miss Potts' pit. So the baby snakes went over to Miss Potts' pit, and Miss Pot came out and said, what are you baby snakes doing in my pit? And they said, well, we were playing in our pit, and Mom said we were hissing too loud. Well, you go on home. You don't need to be hissing in my pit. So the baby snakes went on home. Mama, <laughs> Mama Snake said... <laughs> What are you baby snakes doing back here? I thought I sent you over to Miss Potts. And they said, well, we were at Miss Potts, but she said we were hissing too loud to come back on to our own pit. Mama Snake said, well, that makes me mad because I knew Miss Potts when she didn't have a pit to hiss in. <laughs> Hi, Dolly. Um, I was just wondering if as a child you had allergies? No, I didn't. Um, I was reading a tabloid here, and you oh, know you can always no. trust them. I've seen you on this show before. You always it's, have uh, all the information. Can you read it from there? Sneezing increases your bus size. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't have allergies. I had a bicycle pump. <laughs> for questions tonight, but I want to take a minute now to bring out one of my guests. She's a star of movies and TV and the heartthrob of frogs everywhere. Please make welcome Miss Peggy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you oh, look beautiful tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so thrilled to be here. Well, I want you to know I am really thrilled to have you here. Well, I had such a wonderful time last time here on the show. I, I want you to know that that experience changed my entire life. Really? Mm -hmm. I changed your life? No, not, not you, your audience. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they are so warm and wonderful. You do not just have millions of fans, you have millions of friends. Oh. Yes, and I envy How that. Sweet. I do. I envy it. <laughs> yes. But you know, I'm flattered and thank you very much for the compliment, but you also have millions of fans. Millions? We're talking billions, Dolly. Oh, well, billions. silly me. Yes, however, you see, I have a teensy, teensy problemo. What is it? Well, I am so sophisticated that though my fans truly adore me, they think I am aloof, unapproachable. They do? Yes. So I said to myself, I said, Piggy, I call myself Piggy often. I said, <laughs> I said, thank you, Piggy. What does Dolly have that I do not have? And the answer came to me in a flash. Five-inch heels. No. Five-inch fingernails? No. No, what? you, dear, have the common touch. And you know how you got it? I didn't even know I had it. Oh, yes. Country music. Oh. That, that, that is the secret. Excuse me. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I get so excited. Take it easy. That, that is the secret. I have decided I am going to divest myself of this statuesque urban persona and become just plain fox. <laughs> Miss Piggy is going country. Woo! Oh, wait. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. Well, yes. I want you to know that I am so honored and mm. so humbled that I am the first to know. Mm, mm, that's right. Oh, 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 I, I must run, dear. That is my dressing room. We gave you a dressing room that honks? 
Well, no, no, dear. I, I, I didn't tell you. I brought my own. See you backstage. Ta. Okay. <laughs> Miss Piggy. Thank you. I bought a Buick Regal because it's so beautifully designed and so comfortable. And they're right. But they also think I got a raise because in their eternal wisdom, they think this Regal costs two or $3,000 more than it did. If that's what you think, go see your Buick dealer. You'll find Regal is priced with T-Bird and Cougar, even less. But don't tell the guys around the office. The great American if people really like the taste of fried burgers, how come there aren't backyard frying pans instead of backyard barbecues? Think about it. Over a juicy flame broil whopper. We do it like you do it when we do it like we do it at Burger King. Clear Eyes has more for your eyes. Clear Eyes not only removes redness fast, its extra ingredient moisturizes to leave eyes refreshed, relieved, and sparkling clear. Clear Eyes removes redness and moisturizes too. Dad, Whew. next time, let's rent a forklift. A lamp! Whoops. What's that smell? It smells like something died over here. It's over here. Wait, it's your shirt. Close this dirty need surf. The liquid detergent that gets out not just dirt and stains, but odors too. Looks clean, huh? Yeah. It smells okay too. Can somebody help me move this piano? In liquid and powder, surf removes the dirt and the odors. Sunday, there's been a massive guerrilla offensive against the government. We're cut off. Get our Navy people out. Supercarrier at a special time, 7, 6 Central. I don't want to die here. Then. Spectre. This man kills for pleasure. Sean Connery from Russia with love at the Supercarrier Sunday. special reason because tonight I'm really really happy to have Bob Hope here because of all the people in show business he is my very favorite I've always wanted to do something with him because I always wanted to play a part maybe in one of his movies and there's been so many of them the seven little boys and all those wonderful road pictures with Bing Crosby and Dorothy L'Amour and my very favorite pale face remember that one <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You got a permit for those? The guns, I mean. What are you talking about, city slicker? The name's Petty Point Potter. Peddler. I'm showing my wares, but not nearly as well as you are. <laughs> you get those fashion tips from Wyatt Earp? Boy, you better get out of that and get into something like this. Well, I wouldn't take this dress off for nobody. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a salesman, not a TV evangelist. <laughs> Now, this one here is from our spring line. That's our fall line with just a change of title, see? <laughs> All the women back east are wearing this style. So are some of the men, but that's another story. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> a simple no thank you would be easier on my nerves. I wouldn't wear that sissy dress to a muskrat's funeral. Yeah, see, I know what you need. I tell you, right here. I got something right here. Just the thing for a night at the opera. or a carefree day shooting gophers or something like that. <laughs> and you can use it to store the ammunition in here. I like buckskins, and here's what I think of that hat. <laughs> well. That's what I call shooting, standing here in Wyoming, hitting a duck flying over Kansas. That's a, a duck on a diet. Hey, I've got 
some pretty good accessories you might like. Notice the handiwork on the muzzle there. Oh, boy. And notice the inlaid pearl on the handles. <laughs> and notice the yellow streak down my back. You know, these are really nice. How much do you say they were? They're free. I'm trying to undercut the Japanese. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll take them. Now, let me show you the roping and branding outfit I got here. How about something like that? No, no, no. I hate those sissy clothes. I only buy what I need. Oh, if only I sold bullets. Oh. <laughs> and I could be the Donald Trump of the West. You don't understand. See, I want to be buried with my boots on. Well, I'll do anything you want. You got a shovel? I mean, I don't want to wear all those frilly things with all those buttons and bows. Yeah, there's a song cue if I ever heard one. <laughs> Hit it, boys. Hit it, boys. Well, you can sure tell when it's not your show, can't you? Well, Milty's taste must be misplaced. I'm a simple gal from my head to my toes. And I'm a nut over buttons and bows. You wow them in this one. It's a fashion model's dream. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. That's a, a nightmare, not a dream. Give me a break, for heaven's sakes, instead of adding to my woes. That's my suit with the buttons and bows. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, it was Boy George's. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, that one's too showy. Well, it looked great on David Bowie. <laughs> and how about, is this a killer? Yeah, from the closet of Phyllis Diller. Yeah. I, 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 I. <laughs> you know, Bob, for you, I'd get dressed up anytime. Yeah, I bet you say that to all the suave, debonair, charming, tall, dark, and handsome sex symbols, don't you? <laughs> I do. But you're my favorite. And I want to thank you for being with me tonight. How about a big hand for the Voice of America? <laughs> country. Well, now, Miss hmm? Piggy, let's don't jump to conclusions. There's less to this than meets the eye. No, no, trust me, Dolly. I can smell a trend a mile away. Hmm. Today, Bob Hope. Tomorrow, it's Eck Perlman. <laughs> well, Miss Piggy, since you are in such a country mood, oh, yes. I have got just the thing for you. Yes? I know how you love boys. Well, I'm, men. I'm not alone, kid. Well, that's very true. <laughs> I want you to help me make welcome six great guys uh -huh. that have combined a whole lot of talent with a whole lot of energy, which is made for a whole lot of hit records. Would you help me make welcome Chris Hillman and the Desert Rose Band? Oh. Oh. You turn away, you won't look at me. You seem to think that I just I was hoping he was out of your heart, but he's still calling you. Now he's back in our blue. I forgot about yesterday. Those memories seem so far away. All it took was just to whisper to start a flame burning. Now he's back and I'm blue Ooh, that old feeling 
nothing left for me to do I can't stop him from living in you Cause the past can only pull us apart Still you carry it through Now he's back and I It's 11.02, there's work to be done, and lunch is the last order of business. When I'm hungry, I need cranky. I need a good snack. It's something that's going to fill me up, and Snickers does that for me. Just seems like wherever I go, that Snickers bar is looking at me saying, come get me, come get me. I can concentrate on my job after I've had the Snickers, and then I can go back to doing what I, would, what I do best, which is take pictures. Crunchy peanuts, peanut butter nougat, caramel and milk chocolate, packed with peanuts, Snickers really satisfies. Snickers really satisfies you. Hello. Ed feels we should have a jingle to introduce our new Bartles and James premium peach cooler. He has hired Stoney Munson and the Stonecutters, who recorded since my peach walked out on me, life has been the pits. They're trying to give it a more upbeat feel and work in some words about our all-natural like peach taste. Peaches. Please do not let the fact that fresh we do not yet have a jingle keep you from trying our new Bartles and James premium peach. Thanks for your support. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Tuesday. Take a book to bed. Or at least somebody who's read one. Who's the boss makes headlines. Keep them pledges coming or I'll sing too. Then. The moment. I'm a believer. The magic. If I try. The wonder years. Tuesday. Celestial Seasonings makes all kinds of teas. Except the ordinary kind. For my most exotic taste, there's classic Darjeeling Gardens tea. Hi, fellas. The romantic in me loves amaretto nights after dinner tea. Mmm, practically dessert. And sometimes I escape with Cranberry Cove herb tea. Distinctively satisfying. I'm even into the boxes. Celestial seasonings. Tea's more tastefully done. One look at the Ford Escort GT, and I knew this car was hot. It's got performance written all over it, from the rear spoiler to the fuel-injected engine. The Escort GT was everything I wanted. My local Ford dealer helped me save almost $700 on options with free air, plus $500 cash back that I can even use as a down payment. Total savings of more than $1,000. Escort GT is a real value and the world's best-selling car from quality people with quality products. My local Ford dealer. Roger Ebert reviews the new thriller, Bad Dreams, at 10. Well, my next guest was in the delivery room when rock and roll was born. And since then, he's moved more than the people from Beacons. <laughs> when he's around, there's a whole lot of shaking going on, but it's not an earthquake, so don't worry. It's Jerry Lee Lewis! Thank you very much. 
I got a jaw like a bear trap, teeth like a razor. Made tack tongue with a sensitive taser. Born in Texas, called the land of beef. Have a kid, too much to green to show the hell like me, I'm the meat man. All the team eat man. Everything is a meat man. All the team eat man. I've been down to Macon, Georgia. I ate the buzz off a of Georgia peach. I done fucked me a chicken down in Memphis, mama, and I still got feathers in my teeth. I ate a pound of pork in Huntsville, Alabama, from a fine Alabama hog. Oh, well, I went to Dallas, Texas, got a little bit of love and better bone to a Louisiana dog and call me the meat man. All of them eat now. Yeah, meat man, baby. All of them eat now. Remember, one of Dolly's favorite tunes. Hope you enjoy. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. You make me look like a man insane. You broke my will, what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great ball for fire. I let the love all I thought it was funny. You came me along and you moved me, honey. I changed my mind, love is fine. Goodness gracious, great ball for fire. And kiss me, baby. Love you like a lover should. You're fine, so kind. I'm gonna tell this world that you mind, 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 mind. I chew my nails and I twiddle my thumb. Get a little nervous, but it's sure is fun. Come on, baby, won't you drive me crazy? Goodness gracious, we call the fire. You're fine, so kind. Let me love this world. Let your mind, 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 mind. You're my baby, and I'm with you on the farm. I'm getting real nervous, but it's always fun. Come on, baby, you drive me crazy. Goodness gracious, which ball's the fire? I was just a teenage girl, and you was just a teenage boy. Well, it's true. <laughs> well, it hasn't been that long ago, darling. Well, I know it's been a while, though. But I want you to know I just love your songs. I love you singing. And I recorded Great Balls of Fire. Thanks for saying that. It was one of my oh, I favorites. I thought it was great, too. Good. Well, you want to sing a duet with me? I would love to try it. Who wrote this song we're going to sing? Mickey Newberry wrote the song. Yeah, he's a great writer. He is a great writer. And he's somewhere in Oregon, and we hope he enjoys this. And this is kind of a new song to me, and we just had a little chance to rehearse just a little. But singing with Jerry Lee, I thought I'm not going to miss a chance like this. So let's hit it. It's called Baby. Why you, Why been, you been gone, gone so long? long. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, baby, why you 
American classic crackers. Quality you can see. Quality you can taste. Quality so golden good, we had to name them American classic crackers. Dairy butter, cracked wheat, toasted poppy, golden sesame. American classic crackers. Rich, crisp, satisfying. Taste them. Discover American classic crackers. Quality you can see. Quality you can taste. Not every woman is a size 8. That's why Legs makes a pantyhose that fits you perfectly. Just my size. She's so fine. Watch her shine. That girl is all right. She's got legs. Some of the most beautiful legs in the world are just my size. Now and then, something comes along that makes life a little more enjoyable, a little more refreshing, a little more livable. Not many things can say all that. NutraSweet. Why so many things taste so good. Monday, Oscar night gives us the stars. First, Glenn Close, Oprah Winfrey, and Cher. I have always known that I was born for greatness. It's not enough to be nominated. I think I do deserve to win. Barbara Walters bringing us only the very best. Then, it's all of Hollywood's greatest. What? And all of Oscar's best. Something big is going down. Chevy Chase hosts the 60th Annual Academy Awards live, following the Barbara Walters special, Monday. I'm sorry, I just well, don't believe it. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> now, let me get this straight. You're telling me that Miss Piggy drove this humongous rig up here by herself mm -hmm. and parked it. Right. By herself. Mm-hmm. And the good news is the prop man will be up and around in uh, about a week. The prop man. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this. Miss Piggy! <sighs> Miss Piggy! Piggy? What in the world? Howdy, partner! Would y'all come in and rest a spell? Doesn't all this look just wonderful, Dolly? I mean, doesn't this just say Miss Piggy's gone country? Yes, and it also says Miss Piggy's decorator's gone crazy. Oh, I love it! It's just so tribucolic. Oh, and, and everything here was previously owned by a giant of country music. These yeah. draperies, for instance, are they to die for or not? They look like they're already dead. <laughs> well, dear, they are made of over 350 of Willie Nelson's old headbands. No kidding. Oh, yeah. enchanting thought. Yes. Oh, look, over here. Over here. Come with me, Dolly. By the way, I plan to charge for this tour later on. <laughs> oh, over here, you see? See over here? This wonderful bed. This lovely antique bed was in Barbara Mandrell's family for years. No kidding. It is the bed she meant when she sang, you can eat crackers in my bed anytime. Miss Piggy, I don't know how to tell you this, but on the side of this bed, it says made in Taiwan. Wait, I didn't know Barbara's family was Taiwanese. <laughs> and then over here, Dolly, uh, you might notice the silverware. And the glasses on the western uh, motif. Miss Piggy, I just want to know what you're doing with all this stuff anyway. Oh, simple, Dolly, dear. My plan is to eat, sleep, and breathe country. And someday I shall be queen of country music just like you and Loretta Wynette. <laughs> uh, I believe you're thinking of Loretta Lynn and Tammy Wynette. Yeah, well, I don't have all the details down pat yet. <laughs> Miss Piggy, yeah. if you've been singing all over America, I just wonder why I have not heard about that. Oh, oh, singing! Oh, yes, uh, singing, yes. Well, I certainly plan to do some of that, too. But uh, first, I had to get the right bus and uh, the right furniture and the right outfits, and one's image is so important. Do you want to know what I think? Well, of course! You are my rustic idol, Dolly. Tell me, tell me, 
Tell me, yes, what do you think? Well, I think that all this stuff is mm -hmm. just a waste of time and money. Miss Piggy, you're about as country as a pair of silk overalls. <laughs> oh! Well, well, I didn't hurt your feelings, did I? No, I, I just obviously I, would, I, I have made a fool of myself in your eyes. And the only thing I can do now is leave the country and never return. I shall, I shall live out my life in obscurity and squalor in some unattractive place with lots of plastic. <laughs> and I shall never, never, ever try to be a country singer again. Well, now, let's just don't go hog wild. There's hope for me. Oh, darling, I'll do anything. I'll go to corn pone school, whatever it takes. Please, please. Well, I'll tell you what. First thing I'd do if I was you, I would study the greats and see what they do. Good advice. Study the... Okay, I'll observe you. Okay, you go ahead now. Do something country. Now? Yes, like that. Uh, oh, that's wonderful. Uh, oh, that's not... Uh, this Ms. this Piggy, is better. Yes, uh, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, 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 yes. You are not getting my message. Oh, but I am getting the message, dear. I am all ears. I, in fact, I am one big pink ear. You just tell me what, what to do. Okay, just sit down here, oh, and yes. I will tell you oh, what yes, I think. Oh, yes, school time. Yes, all yes. Right. Well, first of all, I would stop saying moi. Uh-huh. That's not country. Oh, okay. How many times have you ever heard Johnny Cash say moi? Okay, gotcha. Never. No more moi. Okay. 86 the moi. Okay. okay. Okay, what else? Well, you also have got to have a broken heart. You got to get that little heart broken. You got to lose a great love. Oh? You got to suffer some. Oh? You see, hard work and heartbreak is what country music is all about. Dolly? <laughs> Dolly needs you in the wardrobe. Two minutes. Okay, be right there. Well, I have to go now because I got to get ready for the show, but I'll see you up front now. You think about what I said, okay? Oh, yes, Dolly, thank you very much. Uh, that's wise advice indeed, Dolly. Thank you. Hmm. Suffer? Work? Heartbreak? There's got to be a shortcut. <laughs> Mom sure made life easier. Mine did. Like another mom, Philips Milk of Magnesia. Philips Mom helps your body work naturally for easy overnight relief. Even has this convenient dosage cup. Nobody treats you better than mom. Scott once had a heart attack. Today, he had a son. Studies show aspirin helps reduce the risk of heart attacks. Ask your doctor about a regimen of exercise, the right foods, and Bayer, the wonder drug that works wonders. The game Monopoly is back at McDonald's. And oh golly, hoo -hoo, this is the year to play. People all over will win instantly from over $50 million worth of cash and prizes. More than ever before. Win shopping sprees, vacations, a Coca-Cola. Ooh, tasty. Or maybe one of 500 all-new Oldsmobile Cutlass Supremes. Wow. So do not pass go. Go directly to McDonald's. Play Monopoly. Wednesday. Drop down and give me 20. John Ritter becomes a prisoner of love. This is what happens when your brain drops below your belt. Hooperman. Then, after a day at the office, a night on the town. Oh, God. Work, work, work. They got together just in time. After Hooperman Wednesday. You're listening to KTQZ. Music all through the night. Charlie? How about a piece of coconut cream pie to wash down some of that coffee? <laughs> no, thank you, Dixie. <laughs> I'm trying to lose some weight. Oh, are you now? Well, you shouldn't order those last four cheeseburgers. <laughs> hey, that was carb stuff, and I'm going to be a marathon runner. Oh, can anybody here fix a radiator hose? LaWanda? LaWanda, no, back, Sandy! <laughs> halfway around oh, the world. Time, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing anyway? Whoa. You look like you've been rode hard and put away wet. Oh, yeah. I've been on six airplanes. I've been traveling 200 miles in that rental car. Oh, well, come take a load off your feet. Charlie, we have got a genuine celebrity in the house. Oh. We do? We do. 
This here is Lawanda Novak, and she's just the most popular country singer in Australia, that's all. Dixie. Australia? Well, today, mate. Hey, Dixie, maybe you better slip another shrimp on the Barbie, huh? <laughs> oh, Charlie, she don't talk like that. She's born and raised right here in Taylor County. In fact, we went to high school together. Huh, well, if you're from around here, how did you wind up as a country singer down under? <laughs> I'm not sure, Charlie. I knocked on every door in Nashville for 15 years and I couldn't get anywhere. And then I got booked into a club in Melbourne and something just clicked. And the rest is history. And now she's the toast of the whole down under. Not to mention a former member of the Prell Tones. Oh, Lord, the Prell Tones. <laughs> what on earth is a Prell Tone? What is, is a Prell Tone? Where, Where have you it? been? <laughs> oh, never. <laughs> Well, Charlie, the Prell Tones just happened to be the name of a trio that we had in high school, and we thought we were the supreme of country music. Here, let's show it. Oh, take oh, the microphone. You ready for this, Charlie? Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> you better brace yourself. Remember? Uh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Think it over. Are you listening, Charlie? Think it over. Lord, no wonder we didn't make it, Lawanda. No wonder, Lawanda. No wonder, Lawanda. Oh, thank you, Charlie. That's the most applause we ever got in high school. Well, and more than we deserve. I always did have exotic taste. I tell you what. How about if I pay for this little uh, floor show here by taking a look at that radiator hose? Oh, huh? Charlie, thank you. Oh, that's oh how nice. kind you are. <laughs> oh, it is so good to see you. I can't believe it. Your mama is going to be tickled to death to know you're home. Oh, What's the matter? Oh, Dixie. Um, I guess you haven't heard. Mama died. She died yesterday. No, Wanda, I am so sorry. Well, I knew she was sick, and that's why I got right on an airplane and and came out here as quick as I could. And when I got to L.A., I, I phoned, but it was too late. She was gone. But I knew it anyway. What do you mean? I was flying over the Pacific. It was at night. And suddenly I saw my mama's face, and she smiled at me, and she winked the way she always used to. And I said out loud, my mama's gone. And of course she was. Oh, well, I wish you'd have told me. I wish you hadn't let me just stand up here and act like a complete idiot. Oh, no, I loved it. It made me laugh. I haven't laughed in two days. Oh, I'm really going to miss your mama. You know, I never will forget that year she let me stay with you and finish yeah. high school with my friends. We had such good times, didn't we? We did. You know, I guess that was just about the best year I ever spent in my whole life. You know, your mama was like a second mama to me. Oh. See, I, I didn't see much of Mama when I moved down to Australia, and uh, I feel so guilty about that. Oh, you shouldn't. Your Mama was so proud of that little place you bought her over in Gaylord, and she was so happy with your success. You know, she loved that you loved what you do. Yeah, I guess so. I hope so. You remember how Mama would talk about that little village in Czechoslovakia where she lived till she was six? Yeah. And, and how she always wanted to see it one more time. Oh, yeah, I remember. Well, I had promised to take her back there this summer. I made the reservations and everything, and, and now it's too late. Oh, now, you know, some things are just not meant to be. Yeah, maybe. I've been thinking, Dixie. Tell me what you think about this idea, okay? I've been thinking I'm going to take Mama's ashes and I'm going to go to Czechoslovakia anyhow and I'm going to just sprinkle them ashes over that stream and she'll get back there at last. What do you think? What do you think? Well, I think that's a real nice idea, Lawanda, but I don't think I'd do that. Why? Well, because your Mama was born in Carlsbad, but She'd been in Taylor County for years. I mean, she thought of this as home. I think this is where she belonged, and I think that's where she wants to stay. Maybe. I don't know. But I tell you what I would do if I was you. I'd find somebody who has ties in Czechoslovakia, somebody that, that can't afford to go, and I'd buy them a ticket, and I'd send them in your mama's place, and I think that'd be a real nice way to remember your mama. What do you think? You are something. 
What a nice idea that is. Listen, you remember that hymn my mama used to ask us to sing all the time? It was the only hymn the Preltones ever did. You remember? I'll do it's called If We Never Meet Again. Well, I don't know when or where this is going to be, but do you think you could uh, sing that hymn with me at Mama's funeral? Oh, I would be honored. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm really surprised. It tastes just like I spent 20 minutes cooking it, really. I don't know how you did it. You won't believe Uncle Ben's new rice in an instant. I'm surprised that you could do it in five minutes. I could eat this alone. This is good enough just to eat just how it is. And I would forget about minute rice. Uncle Ben's rice in an instant, it tastes like a long time, but it didn't take a long time. Real rice that's whole, not broken like minute rice. Separate, not sticky. It's delicious. Uncle Ben's new rice in an instant, it really does make a difference. I love it. If your hair is dried out from coloring or perming, use extra conditioner on the ends. That's EFA shampoo and conditioner, another salon secret from Germac. Use Germac EFA shampoo and conditioner with rich moisturizers for soft, sexy hair. for all of us. She's just starting out in country music and we're going to do a duet together. So help me make welcome the new and improved country style, Miss Peggy! <laughs> Really pretty tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah, you you look like you and me might have the same designer. Yes, well, you told me to study the greats. Oh, is that how this happened, huh? Yes. Well, you look nice. You look oh, better in yours than me. Oof. I'm a little jealous, that's all. But well, anyway. Thank you, precious. <laughs> Boy, them's mighty kind words. Boy, I tell you. Right now, I got more, I got me, me, I'm a hankering to sing. Okay, I tell you. I sing. You're doing real good with that Thank country talk. You. <laughs> I, this next song that we're going to do as a duet, we wanted to uh, dedicate this to our boar friends. Our boar! <laughs> anyway, it's called I'm a Hog for you, baby. Let's rip it You ready? Up. Yeah, let's rip right.
over your house. She's gonna nibble on your sweet lips. Learner, you just picked that up so quick. I am oh. so impressed. Well, thank you, Dolly dear. That was fun. <sighs> Obviously, I I have learned everything there is to know about country music. Oh, you think so? Yes. Huh? So this is my last appearance as a country music superstar. Oh, the Grand Ole Opry is going to be crushed to hear that. Yes, yes. Well, I shall now try other avenues of expression, uh, possibly reggae. No, no, how about soul? Do you have Aretha Franklin's home phone number? No, never mind, I'll find her. R-E-S-B-C-T. Give it to me, 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 give it to me. being part of the fun tonight and i want to also thank bob hope jerry lee lewis loretta swift the desert rose band and of course the new queen of soul miss piggy and before i go i want to leave you with this thought you know that you're getting older when your mind makes a contract your body can't keep ain't we all done that <laughs> everybody has asked me to do the full version of i will always love you ever since i started the show and i think i'll do that tonight If I should stay, well, I would only be in your way, and so I'll go, and yet I know that I'll think of you each step of treat you kind and I hope that you have all that you ever dreamed of oh I do wish you joy I wish you lots and lots of happiness but you know above all of this I wish you love
America is at war over drugs. It is a problem everywhere, from the largest city to the smallest town. Reports from across the country, Sunday. I don't have time to catch all the games, but I get the latest scores in sports all day on WBBM News Radio 78. The news is always changing, so whenever I get the chance, I tune to News Radio 78. In this town, you need to know what's happening every minute. So I stay in touch with Chicago on WBBM News Radio 78. Chicago's all news station, WBBM News Radio 78. It isn't easy making a lifetime worth of dreams come true. And they said we wouldn't like being retired. But our kids don't. We can help with Lifetimes, a new program from St. Paul Federal Bank. Japan is made possible by this and other public television stations. And by United Airlines. United Airlines Royal Pacific Service. Dedicated to giving you the service you deserve in 30